YouTube land. My name is Maribel Trejo. Hello, Bayos. Hello, Bayas. Um, today, we're going to talk about mental health. We're going to go ahead and talk a lot about um, an insightful view of how mental health can be overcome. And we're also going to talk about um, a little bit of how it started and the, the ways to um, cope with having mental health. If you have a mental disorder, don't worry about it. It does not define you for the rest of your life. As soon as you begin to understand why they're labeling you a certain way, you will be able to overcome it. Um, and you won't be considered that, that person with that disorder anymore. You would just be considered yourself and with medication. So I hope I hope you stick around because um, we're gonna about to get started. So um, Clifford Beers was a man who decided that hey, like let's open up in a Salem because people are um, having all these kinds of symptoms that they're in a cycle of they're in a cycle of repetitive wrongdoing. So they're doing the wrong thing constantly or they're thinking and if they're doing the wrong thing it's because they're thinking the wrong thing. That's very basic. Um, so we're going to understand mental health as a repetitive, uh, uncomprehensive list of things that people do they take action on doing constantly. So if you're a, a person who who constantly hits some your brother or your sister, then we're gonna consider that a mental condition. You're conditioned yourself and your body to use, to use, to use, so used to, or you're so used to doing the wrong thing all the time because who's going to say that hitting your brother or sister is the right thing? No one, right? Okay. So if you conditioned your body and your mind, it becomes a habit. So it takes 90 days to, to start a habit and to end a habit. So... It must have been a, in a period of 90 days, you must have been doing the same thing or thinking about the same thing constantly that it became a problem. Or in if, if you must have been doing, you must have, have stopped doing that something for 90 days for it to stop being a problem. Doesn't mean you can't, it won't go back to being a problem, but now it's another problem because it's another time. I hope you understand that. And if you can't, just put pause and kind of ponder on that for a little while. Okay. Um, another thing is mental health did not only begin in the, in the, the early 20th, 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 20th century. It began when we were young with the question. We began to ask ourselves questions when we're about the edge, age of um 14 right because when we're younger we usually don't understand life we usually don't understand the responsibility that is carried into living so when we are young when we are going to to start high school we begin to ask ourselves what clothes should i wear what, what people should i hang out with because you start off by yourself and you kind of want to prepare yourself because preparation is key to success so you begin to prepare yourself and you begin to ask yourselves all these questions like, should I shower this morning? Should I shower at night? Should I shower once a week? Should I shower three times a week? Should, should I develop a habit of this? Should I develop a habit of that? So once you have, have separated it, separated all this information that I've given to you, you begin to have a manual of your mental health. And if you if you begin to organize your mind, you won't have a mental disorder, if that makes sense. Yeah, you must might have been diagnosed in 2005 for bipolar schizophrenia, 
but this does not mean that you still have it. The only thing it means that you still have the misbalance because of whatever substance that you took or whatever um, situation that happened in your mind. It's still, it's still working with its effect. For example, a volcano still erupted in a certain age. Just because you solve it and build, build a candle so that the volcano never passes through there again, it doesn't mean that it never happened. And it doesn't mean that it won't ever happen again. You just don't want to build a house or you don't want to build a thought in this matter ever again. And um, you don't want to build a, a, a question for so long that it's going to cause you to have a mental breakdown and do drugs or use alcohol or um, use somebody else's medication. So usually a mental... Uh, mental problem usually begins with a struggle and um, mental health is not a, it's not the problem but the prevent the prevent prevention of a problem so a lot of people think that Um, mental health is always like, oh, you have a problem. No, mental health is organizing um, your thoughts so that you don't have a mental condition. Another thing I wanted to share is um, that and, and a note that I took here um, when I was going to uh, my classes for IE is mental problem a mental problem is a problem in the mind that takes a lot of energy away from that person not not only energy but time um and that problem is created by the individual so for a lot of you depending on your age and depending on your situation what's going to be really helpful is if you ask if you still have your parents around ask your parents when did they start noticing a problem in your eyes or in your mind or in yourself in your spirit so that you can begin to retract from there so um you don't need um some of you i'm sorry you don't some of you don't need a hypnotherapist or psychotherapy but I highly encourage it because it's really healing. Um, for some of you, journaling might be enough. But if you already have a condition, I definitely, definitely, definitely think that you should see a therapist on a daily basis um, so that you can learn how to cope with it when it ever happens so that the condition never gets any worse. So realize two things that I'm talking about mental health and mental condition. Okay, so, alright, so I think that we're going to leave it at that, it's more, this video is more of an insight as to uh, mental health and mental condition and the ways that you can problem solve. Alright, well, thank you so much for listening, please subscribe to my videos, I put up new videos every Sunday. Um, Monday and I think I'm going to start doing um, Wednesday. See ya. Thank you.